guys, it's Brie. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Clue Period Tracker app, which I have on my iPhone. The Clue company contacted me and asked me if I'd be willing to do a review, and I spoke to them several times, and basically what they asked me to do is to just tell you guys my honest opinion on the app after using it for a few months, and to show you some of the features, so that's what I'm going to do. I have used another period tracker app before Clue, but Clue definitely has the most features that I've seen, so um, when you tap on the app, I tell you what, I'm going to flip my camera around and show you all the features, but I've been using it for several months now. It's very, very easy to use. It's available on, on iOS and on Android. The Android updates seem to come a bit after the iOS updates, but I've also made some suggestions to the company in between the time that I started using this and things that I thought could change and they took them on board and they worked on a couple of them already actually. So that's really good and I'm just gonna show you the app now. So when you first tap on the app, this is what you will get. It shows your cycle and it will work out the average length of your cycle um, from all your previous periods entered, but when you first start your um, start with this app, it will automatically go for 28 days, I think. So you can see the first day of your period, the first day of your period is the first day of your cycle, so it goes on from there and it shows your fertile window and it also shows that I'm on day 21. Now if I was to tap enter today's data, I can enter in a lot of things into my calendar. So for example, if I started spotting, I could put spotting in, talk about how heavy my flow is, um, I can go on to pain, tell them whether I'm having cramps, headaches, tender breast ovulation, and I can track all this stuff, so sleep, uh, energy levels, collection method, and one of the things I suggested to the company was that I think a menstrual cup would be a really good idea, so they, and other people obviously suggested it as well, so they put that in, so now you can choose to have a tampon, a pad, a menstrual cup, or a panty liner, and then ovulation tests, this is one of the ones I use the most to tell them I've had a positive ovulation test uh, to help track my ovulation. Uh, what's next, digestion, I've enabled all of these things on here for this video, so cravings, skin, stools, motivation, fluid, that's your discharge, how it is, because it changes throughout the month, if you track it, you talk about your hair, how it feels, this is for basal body temperature, if you're doing family planning method by taking your temperature, you can enter in here, you can also enter in your weight, your emotions, how you're feeling, what your mental state is, um, social, how you're feeling, if you've got an appointment with your gynecologist, doctor, a date, or a vacation, all this sort of stuff, exercise. I do kind of wish they had more exercise methods, um, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure what this one is. I'll have to go back and check that one. Partying, uh, sex, so you can tell them if you've had unprotected or protected sex, um, if you have a high sex drive, or if you use the withdrawal method, what ailment you've got, if you've got a fever, cold, whatever. So you can kind of notice when you tend to feel sick if you always add this information in. The more info you give, the more accurate the app will be. The, if you use an IUD, you can see if you've, tell them when you've had it checked or inserted or removed, all that kind of stuff, if you've had an injection, if you've got plaster on or whatever. Medication, the pill, it will also remind you when to take the pill, so if you need to um, tell that you've had to take double or you've forgotten it or something like that, you can also do that. Uh, this is the Nuva ring, so you can check when that's in or how that's doing, the patch, there's all sorts of method of contraception in here. Um, I would usually go onto calendar. You see, you can check back through all your previous data. I've been using it since June. And for example, I can go back to, let's see, day nine here. And I can tell I got a positive ovulation test then. And that will help the app work out better when I'm going to ovulate. And then I told it I had a heavy flow here and I used a pad on this day. And I can do all that sort of stuff. Uh, if I go on to settings, now tracking options, this is where you enable all the things. I wouldn't usually have fluid, hair, pain, or skin, or even, I do have stool enabled, but I don't have temperature or weight. So I can take these on and off, and if I decide I want one, I can come back and add it, and if I don't want it, then I can just take it off. But it's very, very adaptable, this app. The other thing I can do if I go back to more is I can have a look at the cycle science. It will tell you what your period actually is and how long it is on average. It can tell you what your fertile window is for. Just has a ton of information on here, cravings, all that kind of stuff, collection method, describing how you can track that and what it'll do. So yeah, there's tons of things you can do on here. Be sure to have a play around. 
um, as I showed you, it will also estimate how long your cycle is going to be, and it can show you how long your past cycles were and all that kind of stuff. So, very useful, very good app, and I, I really like it. And I particularly like this really easy to read home screen. So, it's very easy to add data in as well. So that was my review on the Clue Period Tracker app. It is a free app for iOS and Android, as I said before. Uh, the more information you put into Clue, the more accurate it can be in predicting your cycles, and it can tell you when you're fertile, when your period's expected, it can give you notifications, so you know where to take your pill, when your period's due, all that kind of stuff, as I showed you before. It's a really clean, easy to use design, and it's also gender neutral, it's a non-pink app. So I will leave the links down below for the iOS and Android devices, and if you're interested, then you can click on those and find it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and I I will talk to you later. Bye.